Hello, I'm Luca Torex and welcome to part 8 of my Cydia campaign on Rome Total War. So, today we are going to hopefully take a couple of settlements. Uh, we put ourselves in a pretty good position last episode by beating a large Brutii army outside of Apollonia. There is still another big Brutii army outside of Apollonia because that's what the Brutii do, they have a million armies. But hopefully they're going to go down and defeat the Greeks, that'd be quite nice, or at least weaken them. And then if they both make each other weak, we can just sweep in. So hopefully that's what happens. Either way, this force is about to besiege Apollonia, but unfortunately we haven't got the siege equipment built, so it can't quite this turn. So hopefully this force doesn't get over in time, but it possibly will, well it will, if they decide to. So it kind of depends where their priorities lie. But this force is alright. The force we've got, if I can just click on it. Uh, yeah, it's Scythian horse archers. One is slightly depleted and just some ran random peltas just to carry the rams to the gate if that is what's required of them. Now, what is also going on? Yes, Dacia. Dacia. Campus Lazages. Again, there's about to be a big fight outside there, but this force couldn't get over to Campus Lazages. These guys are heading towards the Dacian settlement of Aquincum, just because they might as well. So these, that's the peasant to hold the ram. This guy's probably doing the same, although I think he's heading in a sort of diagonal position down to whatever settlement's here. I think it's called Termon. So yeah, he's going to take a while to do that though. Same goes with this geezer. So anyway, I think we've done everything we can for this turn. Uh, oh, who are you? Yes, this guy. Oh, right, he hasn't been moving at all. Yeah, he needs to move in this direction, which he's now doing, which is good. But yeah, other than that, we're all set. We've got no money left, so not a lot we can recruit. So I think it is about time to end the turn. Let's see what happens. So, Bru okay. this is what I suspected, which was the Brutii were going to use that big force of Cassius Brutus and come straight back over. Now, what has Cassius Brutus actually got? Himself and Titus Brutus, some Welites, Equites. The Equites are annoying. Astarte, Bulldogs, Town Watch. It's a solid Roman army. The annoying bits, as we discovered last time, were the Equites because. They were as fast as the Scythian horse archers, so it meant they could just chase them off pretty much. They were sort of anti-missile cavalry. But we did a pretty good job against the Romans last time. I'm not saying we can win. The odds are, or the ratio is 1 to 2, and they have a ridiculous, like, over double, nearly, well, three times basically the amount of men we do. It's going to be very difficult, but a good victory here, and we've really set ourselves up well against the Romans. So I'm going to take the risk, I think. Yeah, let's, let's try and do this. Right, so we are backed up against the sea here. On a massive decline. Um, but okay, not not very good positioning right there. Now, honestly, I don't think we're going to win this. I think this is, might be a little bit of a stretch for me. Just because there's so many of them. It's quite a nice view over there, though. Anyway, a si uh, right, what are we going to do? Scythians. Okay, they're all Scythians. But the Scythian horse archers. Fire at will. Sprinting in a long, loose formation. Gotta be loose. Okay. Like a really long, loose formation. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, Illyrians... I, on, uh, not, they're Peltas, not Illyrians. They're not going to be very useful. I don't actually know what to do with them, so I'm just going to put them here. General, put them here. I'm not going to mess around with formations and start the battle. Now, all of you need to get up onto the high ground before the Romans come over, or at least at a point where they're not on the high ground in comparison to us. So, come over here, like so, and sprint. Now the general can come over here, and sprint. Peltas, yeah, just do the same, why not? Okay, so the army seems to have arrived at pretty much the same time, which is fair enough. Are you guys, you're not sprinting. Okay. Right, Peltas, who can you target that are slow? Because Equites, right. The general's already fighting someone. They've. Right, the general's a accidentally routed some Welites, which is fine by me. Get on the Equites, they caused us trouble last time. Okay, the Equites are high. No, they're not, maybe. We want to get the Equites down. Oh, what's happened here then? Who's died? Enemy general fallen. Oh, okay. One of the captain, the uh, the captain of the reinforcement army, fallen. Right. We should do well against Equites. They're not going to stand up to actual good troops. Although another Equites charge has come in. That that was actually quite a good move. 
from the Romans. We should still be able to deal with them. Please, rally. Oh, God, they did a really good charge in there. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, the general's routing. Okay, bad start. <laughs> Very bad start for the general. And as long as he survives, it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, he will be able to survive. Now, Scythians, we are downhill. And one of the units is already in melee. What are you doing? Why are you in melee and all the way down here? The general's ridden you down, hasn't he? Ah, oh, wow, why? You're meant to be skirmishing. You're not meant to be um, in the melee. Okay, Peltas are now in the melee. The Equites must have got them. The Equites got them. Yeah, that's what I suspected would happen. Okay, two units are down and... You no, know, three units are down. Flipping hell. Okay, we need to focus on that general. We need to get him down, really. You, try and get that... That guy down. You have the you have the high ground advantage. There's only 30 of you, right? Um, well, you lot, focus on that general. Get him down. Okay. Equitas seems to be causing us trouble here. You, yeah, you can focus on those town watch. It's all good. As long as we get more kills than they do, I'm happy. So far, we haven't managed to do that, I don't think. And oh, there's a bit of a route going on over here because they got caught in the corner. They got caught in the corner. Ah, oh dear. The Equitas got him. Right. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good at all. We're not going to be able to win this. A strong Roman army is... Yeah, we're no match for a strong Roman army, that is for sure. But we can try and get as many kills in as possible. Oh, these guys can just retreat. You might as well just retreat, lads. In fact, all the others might as well just retreat as well. If they're really in that bad a situation. We, we might as well not lose any more units. Would it be... Yeah, you guys can retreat because you're in a good position. Quickly get out of here and you're a full unit. I don't want you to die. You guys... Um, oh, you're literally in the water. Yeah, retreat, lads. Retreat, just retreat. I don't mind losing this. Right, you two need to retreat. Or can you not re withdraw? I told you to withdraw. Right. Oh, God, what's happening? I don't know what is going on here. I think I've just condemned them to death, pretty much. Well, this has not gone well at all. Very, very bad. Very bad. Clear defeat. I mean, the actual amount of kills wasn't too different, but not good at all. We were stuck on the edge of the sea. Strong Roman army. I don't know if there's a lot more I could have done there. We'd had no front line. We need to start recruiting some axemen. I think that's a priority. So unfortunately, Apollonia might not be able to be taking this turn. Hopefully we can rustle up some troops to take it. The Romans are concerning me, though. Macedonians want to talk, or not really, I don't know what's going on there really. Germania is, I don't know, messing around. And this guy's been attacked by a Dacian in the middle of nowhere. Two Forksmen versus a general and one unit of Scythians. I reckon we could do a decent job. Let's, let's have a go at this. 66 men of us. We have about half the amount of men, but... The horse archers will probably be able to skirmish around the forksmen. The general can clear up once they're routing. That's the plan anyway. Oh, Very misty. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Start the battle. Skirmish around... One unit seems to be weaker than the other. Unless I'm mistaken. 43. Yeah, that unit looks stronger. So, go for the strong unit first. Now, as long as these guys don't get into the melee, this should be relatively straightforward. Okay, admittedly, the general got caught in the Falksman. Didn't actually want that. I'm pretty sure I told you to run away. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, this general really needs to get his act together. Start running. I wish you could put a general on skirmish mode. Run. Run, damn you, run. Okay, very slowly, we have actually grinded them down just by moving my general across the map. And these two units are basically following my general. It's oddly amusing. But yes, it, it, it very slowly is working. Okay, one of the units is routed. So you get on that routing unit. You focus particularly on these guys. Okay. Continue the battle. Pause it. You get on the Forksman. And yeah, that's pretty decent. We've That was a really, really easy victory. I just messed up a little bit at the beginning. No way. If that was our general... Okay, it was the enemy general. One of the general's bodyguard actually died from that, but whatever. Heroic victory. I wouldn't really call it that, but okay. They got three kills. We did a pretty simple job there. 
and that should nicely clear the path to Campus Lazarjes as well. So, suitable husband, not really suitable because he's a 56 year old, so I doubt the suitability of that man. Now, in terms of money, it's going pretty well, and diplomacy wise, um, all the Roman factions declared war on us. Okay. Now, that Roman force is. We got this one, which is decent. It's got some Scythian noble archers in it as well. We got this force. Ah, this is the force that's battered from last time. So, you guys form into one. I mean,. Relatively decent. I don't know if that's enough though to take on the Romans. So we'll consider that in a second. Let's focus on Dacia first. And Campus Lazarjes. Unfortunately, there are still troops in there, I think. Meaning we can't just waltz in. Yeah, not many and not very good troops. But there are still some troops. Five Sarmatians, you know, and not, not many good units. But whatever. So yes. you, peasants, can hold the ram. In fact, you can put it under siege. Attack. Um, oh, the, the spies have infiltrated the settlement. Okay. Well, um, so we can siege. take it this turn, in, in fact. All of you guys. Now, who are you? Oh, yes, you're heading towards a Quincum. So carry on doing that. And there we go. We can see a Quincum now. And we can see Siles. Yes. Ah, that's actually not good because I got him a little bit ahead of where he was no meant to be. Siles, it's him and a couple of other units, so yeah, I've got him a little bit ahead here. Now, Paratua, he isn't going to go over to a Quincum. I still don't think he needs to, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't think that that's necessary. I think he needs to head down towards the Termon kind of area, deal with the Romans down there, so you carry on. No, 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 pause, 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 pause. pause. He's not doing what he's told. Right. He walked a couple of miles that way accidentally. I told you, or I meant to tell you, come round in this direction, you stupid man. Okay, so he's doing that, which is good. You, Captain Philippos, uh, I think you're meant to be joining him, so you're only barbarian cavalry. I'm not really sure what your purpose is, so just head down south in general and you'll be fine. No more moves. So yeah, slightly concerned about um, old Art of Vads here, but he'll be alright. Campus Lazarus we can take right now, though, which is good. We'll just sort out the movement of a couple of other troops. For example, you. General. Oh, we have two Art of Vads. That's really confusing. Okay. Well, in which case, either way, head over in this direction and place some watchtowers. That would be quite a good idea. You can be on watchtower duty. And just to keep an eye on the Germanians, who I am a little bit concerned about. I want an alliance with them, and they weren't interested. Now, this guy, the other artifacts, he can get some mercenaries if he wants. Decent ones, so we'll consider it. But more importantly, are there mercenaries over to fight the Romans? That's what we need them for yes. more. You only have 14 bodyguards, and only Illyrians and... Hell tests. Not ideal. Now, if he fought this battle here in Apollonia, this guy would be able to help out. Right, step over the line. Are there different mercenaries? No, there are no mercenaries here, in fact. Okay. We'll combine these two forces. I mean, that's a decent force. That's still a decent force. I just, it's not really big enough to take on the Romans, is it? Thessalonica has a few more troops. So, but they couldn't reach Apollonia in time. Who are you? Captain General. Tigranes. We have actually quite a few troops, don't we? Yeah, you are going to go over to the Macedonians, who have just taken Athens. Termon is looking... Al no, he's not looking vulnerable at all. Athens is not looking vulnerable that much, but Corinth is. So you could probably go out down to Corinth, I think. Yeah. So start travelling in this direction. We don't war with Greece yet. Not yet. So, yeah, just head here, just out the zone of control. You don't want to bother anyone. And then you and you can join Cap Captain Tigranes like that. There we go. That's a decent force. Probably needed it more against the Romans, but I need to focus on the Greek campaign as well. So it's all going fine. Now... Do we fight the Romans? This is the question. I would say we possibly shouldn't attack them. In fact, I think we should get out of yes. their territory for the moment until we build up a better force. Forward. Slightly better force. Now, in terms of mercenaries, yeah, they're terrible. But we can get 
Some recruits opened by the Zora, so in fact... Right, I know, I have a plan. You go back to Thessalonica. In fact, no, you go to Larissa. You go to Larissa. And you... You can stay where you are. Now, Thessalonica, you can bring you, so Zyales, you're gonna... No, actually, you look like you're better at fighting Romans. Saulius, and three Scythian horse archers head over. Now, this is the... This is the force that's going to fight the Romans. That's a pretty decent force. That's a... It's decent. Thessalonica's a little bit unhappy. Um, well, we can sort that out in a second at the end of the turn. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So that's going to be the force that will fight the Romans soon. Not quite yet, but soon. This will be the force that fights the Macedonians down in Athens and Corinth. And then there's probably a couple of other forces which are near... But whatever. We'll sort that out later. First of all, we need to fight the Dacians in Campus Lazages. So let's do that very quickly. Should be relatively simple as the gates are open. So assault the city. And Duras, 195 men. We have more men. It says 1 to 1 strength ratio. I contend that. I think it should be relatively straightforward. So let's take Campus Lazages. Right, here we are. It's a little bit snowy, so I'm going to wait a little bit. Here we go. It's a lot better. Okay, so start the deployment. And, yeah, it should be relatively straightforward. In fact, the barbarian peasants won't even be needed. You only have 30 men, so we're going to keep you at the back because you're slightly more vulnerable. The other units should be doing the bulk of the work, really. Now, it might be a bit difficult because we basically have no infantry, but that is something we are used to at this point because we're Scythia. So start the battle. Pause. Now, quickly, run over here and start firing on them. Doesn't matter who you fire on, just anyone. So they're going to start firing at people. And you can see the trail of dead bodies already. Okay, so a quarter of their army's down, with absolutely no losses on our part, which is good. But I think that's pretty much all we can do, apart from these, the, I think one, no, two warband, two warband is randomly there. Let's take that one guy down, okay. Now we've actually done quite a lot. So now he's getting the city. Which is the trickier bit. So get inside the city nice and quickly. This is where it could all start going horribly wrong. Theoretically. If they don't skirmish properly. But see if you can fire on anyone. You must be able to have a shot at someone. There's the troops over there. What I want is for you guys all to fight the general of course. Because he's the main threat. 81 Forksman. There are some troops over there. We can't seem to have a shot of them quite yet. In which case, we need to divide the army. So you two come over here. Uh, like, I don't know, like this. You two stay where you are. Just move slightly forward. Like that. And you two come over this side like this. Split up the army slightly so we're not all on each other's toes. Be a good idea. And some of the troops are coming forward. I think it's only a couple of terrible cavalry units, but I can see that is the Barbarian Warlord indeed coming towards us very slowly, which is good. It means he's going to get more hits against him. In fact, he's literally going, he's literally just walking. Very, very casual about the fact that his town is under siege by a thriving Scythian Empire. Um, who are firing arrows at his face. He's very unconcerned about that, which is odd, but yeah, I like someone who's chilled, I suppose. What are you doing? You're literally not in the city. Oh no, that's the that's the people with 30 in their unit, that's fine. You're forgiven. You need to come a little bit forward, because you're not really doing a lot. Come on. Take care of that general, because he's going to pursue these guys all across town until he has no one left, so you really need to get on this general. Okay, what are you doing? Look. Pause it for a second. Pause, pause, pause. Get on the general. Maybe you don't skirmish, just for a second. Focus on getting that general down because he is a major threat to us. The threat to us. You need to get on the general as well. Okay, now these guys need to be on skirmish mode. Before it's too late. It's heavy cavalry, so he shouldn't be able to outrun us. But it means he can take a lot more arrows to his face, which is odd, but whatever. 
Right, you need to get away, otherwise you're screwed. You're screwed. If he if he gets you in the melee, you're screwed, okay? Don't know how to put it any nicer. You're screwed. Get on this general. He's the he's the only threat to us now. There's 16 of his left, but trust me, a 16 will do a lot of damage to very weak Scythian uh, missile cavalry. Okay, down to 15, 14. Nearly down. You guys need to get on him. Thirteen. Okay, we are very nearly in the melee with him. In fact, I think we possibly are. A couple of troops are getting caught up. It's down to ten. There's four units of Scythians here. They should be able to deal with one Warlord. Okay, this guy's gone down quickly. The guy at the back has gone down really quick. Wow. Still, they're down to six now. Get on him, come on. Okay, he seems to be running away. He's wavering, but he's not actually routing yet. There's four of them, come on. Including the general himself, of course. I think everyone else is pretty much down. You can get on those war bands that are seemingly there. There's some forksmen chasing after this lot, so you get on the forksmen. How's the general doing? Please say he's nice and dead. No, he's not. There's still three of them left. Come on. This is getting ridiculous now. There's three of them. Right, you two. Come on, focus on the warband. How are the forksmen doing against us? Not very well, it would seem. Which is good. Uh, they seem to be on the plaza to get them down. I'm going to speed this up a little bit now. Hey, we finally got him down. General finally goes down. These guys won't last for long. They are topless, I believe, so they don't have a lot of armour. Right, everyone now on these warband. I think that's literally all they have left. So you should be able to fight them guys pretty effectively. They stop moving. There we go. Victory. End the battle. Clear victory. They got 28 kills. I will take that. That's, I mean, it could have gone slightly better, but that's fine. And we've taken out one of the main Dacian settlements, which is good. We are completing our conquest of Central Europe pretty nicely, I would say, all things considered. So Campus Lazarus is indeed ours. Do we need to exterminate them? I don't think so. We'll occupy the settlement. I think that's probably the best idea. Now, in terms of agents, well, the spy can head towards a Quinkum. Like that. Now, not all of you guys are needed in here. A couple of them can be combined to make stronger units. Uh, like that. That's pretty decent. The peasants can stay inside Lazarjez. You four. Will they, will they be able to cope with five units going out? Yes, just about. That's fine. In which case, you need, you need to go south and fight the Romans, basically. So you start doing that. You're going to join your friend Paratura, or whatever his name is, next turn. Heroic battle outside Campus Lazarus, who would have thought? Lower the tax rate, and we'll sort that all out in a second, the buildings and stuff. I can do that off camera. You have moved as far as you can go, so now it's a matter of dealing with these guys down here. You have moved as far as you can go. You've moved as far as you can go. Oh yeah, I think we've done all we can this turn. So I'm going to do the recruitment, do the buildings, and then I think we'll be ready to continue. I've got 7,900 to spend in the meantime. Right, I think we're done. So let's see how the Romans and the Macedonians and everyone reacts to the fact that we are storming into their territory. Not a lot of reaction so far. I'm very interested to see what the Germanians are doing. I'd like to see a bit more of the map with getting some spies. But absolutely nothing happened, which is fine by me. End of term reports, fine. Most advanced faction is Gaul. That surprises me for many reasons, but whatever. Um, probably should have looked at some of that, but I didn't. The ceasefire between Numidia and Egypt has nothing to do with us. First of all, the Romans. Ah, still those, well, that big army. It's basically that big army. Cassius Brutus has his big old army, and it's concerning. Please be some better mercenaries. No, of course not. Just Peltasts. I mean, this is a strong army. It's just got no front line to it. That's my concern. We have some Scythian nobles. Who are you again? Yeah, Scythian nobles could do a job. 
I don't know. Right, we'll sort that in a second. I want to. I'm more interested first of seeing how we're going to fight the Macedonians. Now, big forces outside of Athens. We have these guys, mostly hot plights probably, but a bit of light cavalry, which might be a bit of a concern. And Captain Cleaders, which isn't a really strong army because we can combat that well. But Corinth is a lot weaker. Corinth literally has a general and some light lances in. So it would probably make sense going for Corinth first. Especially if we get the spy in. So you, who've been standing outside Corinth for about a million years. Unless, I mean, what has... Yeah, Sparta's got a few troops in. So rather than going to Athens first, we might as well take Corinth. It kind of makes more sense. And then it will probably split up the force as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Corinth. 40% chance of success. Please don't die. Come on. He died. <laughs> right, okay. He's an idiot. He's an absolutely yes. terrible spy. Either way, besiege Corinth. Besiege Corinth. Besieging yeah, here we are. Okay, um, what do we need? We literally just need probably a ladder. Mm. Siege tower. Actually, no. Get a ram. Get a ram. That seems like a solid idea. Just get a ram. If we can get a siege tower as well, brilliant. Okay, you can do that. In fact, I don't like siege towers. Let's get a ladder instead. I'm changing my mind a lot here. A ram and a ladder will do a fine job. Corinth we can take pretty soon, it would seem. Now, this army... Yes. Oh yeah, it's not an army. You're just heading towards Larissa. No good mercenaries either, which is a shame. Yeah, you, you go to Larissa. You do that. Now, what is Dian no, Doris of Sparta doing? Not sure. But he's left Termon relatively undefended. Oh, Termon is that assessment. I don't know what assessment up there is called. I've forgotten. I think before we attack the Romans with Saulius, which we are going to do, first of all, step into the territory, see if there's better mercenaries. Nope. We should get reinforcements from Thessalonica, particularly those Scythian nobles are quite nice. Um, what else? I mean, Bylazora, we could bring one of the guys down from Bylazora. He probably has some decent mercenaries available. Yes. Belnivari. No, only a Peltas. Either way, get over to Thessalonica. And Thessalonica can trade Sialis back to Bidazora. That seems like a fair trade. I, I don't think we can take this army on quite yet. But with the help of the Scythian nobles and you as well, Belnirari. Oh, that's going to take you two turns to get over. It's too long. No. The help of you two, that could make all the difference. Join Saulius. That's a strong army. Still hasn't got any front line. But you're going to attack Captain Augustus next turn. That's going to be settled. Yeah, slightly odd. We're currently we can't get into because the spy was useless. Let's see about the Dacians. Because there's a lot of armies over here. I'm not really sure what's going on. A Quincum has Captain Salmoxis outside. And inside a Quincum has a couple of warband. Pretty terrible army to be honest. This guy is holding a bridge but n none of our business. Really. Ah, you can't get over there. Because there's no crossing, and the crossing is where Silurus is, and he's taking the crossing. I see. Okay. Yes. That's annoying. Lord. Yes. You're right. Orders. You, Parachua. Start heading down in that direction. Move. And you are going to join Parachua. Nope, you can't join Parachua. Why is that? Take this guy out. Yeah, he backs off. Then join Parachua next turn. Now, as for a Quinkum, well, this guy's holding the bridge. Yeah, very annoying. What's he got with him, then? It's literally him and two Forksmen, though. And I reckon with the firepower we have, we should be able to take that bridge. Hmm. Or could we? We could try it. Or it might just be quicker to walk around this way. But that's quite a long distance. Two turns, whereas that would save us... A turn, basically. It would save us a turn if we... Went straight for a Quinkum. And this guy isn't going anywhere, so we might as well fight him now. So step in here. Any mercenaries that would be good? Potentially, yes. Potentially some Bastar and I. Could be good, but no. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Let's fight this guy on the bridge. General. You, who are you? You're, you're meant to be coming over this way. You're not going to actually be much of help. But you need to come this way. Yeah. I reckon we can fight these guys on the bridge. Okay, we can't because we're... Uh, <laughs> we haven't got the movement points. Alright, we can't do that then. That's a bit of a shame. 
Romans. Romans, we can't fight them because this force hasn't got any movement points left. Next turn, they will be fighting them, though. Corinth is under siege. Okay, I think that is probably all we can do this episode. As far as I am aware, this guy is slowly heading towards Bylazoro, basically heading south. In fact, your Sidian, your Sidian noble, or your some sort of noble, just head to Tylus, it's fine. But yeah, I'll sort out the construction and all that. But today, we've taken Camp Sazages, which is a good step in defeating the Dacians. I think they only have two settlements left. Next time, we'll be able to take a Quincum. We'll be able to take Corinth. And hopefully, we'll have a big, successful fight outside of Apollonia, which would be quite good as well. So, yeah, that's going to be all. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see you around.